for the last 20 years or so. The political leadership, that is, the prime ministers and the technocrats, from Jamaica to Barbados, have been the products of the University of the West Indies. I attended the conference of Caribbean Strategy in Jamaica last week. And when a charge was made at the conference that we were witnessing now a political failure, the question was asked, is not, not therefore an institutional for we are not at that box now. We are on home ground. Damn. How? Louis St. John asked. We are home. There's a period when nearly every Prime Minister within this CARICOM region was a product of the University of the West Indies, whose mandate in 1944 was in fact to produce a cadre of leaders that would realize the fruition of the regional enterprise. These are not the casualties of Oxford. They are whatever you want to choose of the University of North West. And we must consider the meaning of that question. Lewis, he asked, how did these highly intelligent men come to make so many errors in so short a period. And he says, I think that's charitably, clearly, the leadership was awful. I have tried in a lecture, The Sovereignty of the Imagination. And it appears in the second volume of the BIM magazine, if you can find it. <coughs> and I'm trying to answer this in that essay. Lewis's judgment carries great weight. But <coughs> it is possible. But although he saw with great clarity the situation he describes and laments, he may have been looking in the wrong direction. The answer to his question, or some portion of that answer, may be found in the cultural displacement of the men involved. There were the brilliant products of an epistemological formation which was in profound discord with the concrete and novel realities that now challenged the imagination. There were casualties of an inherited tutelage, colonial in essence, and thereby placing an overwhelming constraint on the concept of liberation. It had happened before, and it had been articulated with remarkable ken. And I quote here the Argentinian philosopher Ezequiel Estrada. He is referring to this situation that is a crisis in leadership of Latin American liberation struggles. 
that had been in great agony won their release and the political domination of a colonizing European power. And this is what this father has to say. Neither here nor elsewhere is there any public awareness of the fact that cultural emancipation is not any easier, although it may be less bloody, than political liberty. And a great part of the failure of our independent movements was due to the fact that our liberation and our liberators were never liberated from themselves. Mentally free, they were subconsciously in chains because they continued to accept the structure of European cultures changing only their forms and the small part of their content in the same way they had done with their political institutions. 